So, you want to hear a story, huh? Well, I have a story you may not believe, but I tell you it is true. Pandora. This is not a planet of peace and love. You woke the wrong dog. Sledge will punish you! Ah, yeah! <laughs> Looking for the ball. Well, you're going to have your work cut out for you. One more step and it'll be your last. <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face. <laughs> So, you... Hello, everybody. What is up? Welcome to the show, to all of you out there on Twi Twitch and Mixer. I am Elisa Melendez, your new media manager here at Gearbox, and I am here with a couple of illustrious guests. Um, could you please do me the honor of introducing yourself and chatting briefly about what it is that you do here at Gearbox? Sure. My name is uh, Carl Shedd, and I'm a lead lighting artist at Gearbox. I'm Patrick Fenn. I'm a producer. I was the producer of Borderlands Game of the Year Edition. Awesome. Now, we are here today because we are going to be showing off a little bit of Borderlands Game of the Year Edition. It just came out April 3rd. Super, super excited. Um, and I think, especially now that we know that Borderlands 3 is a thing that's happening, um, I think this is a really cool entry for folks into the franchise. And we want to show it off, um, especially because there are a lot of really cool improvements uh, to maybe the first time that you might have played Borderlands 1. Um, so, a little bit of housekeeping before we start, just to make sure that everybody is on the same page. Um, we are going to be chatting about Borderlands Game of the Year Edition today. Now, if you want the latest and greatest in Borderlands 3 news, we are going to have a gameplay reveal event May 1st at 10 a.m. Pacific Time. Uh, that is noon central, that is one eastern, and that is going to be when you are going to get your next big look at Borderlands 3. Now make sure that you are following not only our channel here on Twitch and Mixer, but you are also following the new fancy schmancy Borderlands channel on Twitch, that is twitch.tv slash borderlands, for all of the awesome info. And you can also see the gameplay reveal stream at Borderlands.com. So that is when you are going to get your first look at live Borderlands 3 gameplay. But we're going to take it back to the old school, because I'm an old fool who's so cool, and so are you guys. Let's, let's, let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's just start. Let's just play. Let's Why not? Let's just get into it. Now, of course, throughout, um, I'm sure there are lots of folks here in Twitch and Mixer that have plenty of questions, um, but I really just kind of want to get into what it is that people can expect to see different in this version than previous versions. <laughs> have I got a story for you, Pandora. This is our home, but make no mistake, this is not a planet. When it comes to this scene, it's really, we didn't do much to change this, mm. but it just refining the lines and the work that Kester did on these originally it looks it looks so much sharper it looks so much nicer than we play back on the Xbox 360 and PS3 uh, we did more in the rock and roll intro that you see in the second but this itself I think really stands out to me as one of those moments when you boot this game up you realize how good this art style holds up good well how well this art style holds up <laughs> I speak oh it holds up real good Holds up <laughs> so good. You <laughs> Superman holds up real good. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. <Hunters. laughs> well, I have a story you may not believe, but I tell you it is true. Nice. The legend of the vault is real, and it is here on Pandora. And uh, well, let's call her a 
guardian angel appeared to guide the vault hunters to their prize. The tale begins right here on Pandora with the brave vault hunters, the guardian angel, and most importantly, me. This is where we start seeing some of the environmental changes. If you go back and watch the original, some of these items really weren't there. The big skulls in the background, a lot of the junk in the area. Huh. And these things, a lot of times when you start adding to a scene that's very much supposed to be very barren, if you start adding things, it gets way too cluttered. But Blind Squirrel did a great job of making sure it hit that middle ground where adding things didn't feel unnatural or just unnecessary. Uh, it felt really added to the scene and it made it feel more modern. Cool. And of course, you know, jamming out. <laughs> Always good. This song just brings you back. <sighs> yeah, I can't believe it's been 10 years. 10 years. <laughs> yeah. Oof. Now, Carl, you were around for BL1. Yes, yes. You were around for this game in its original setting. How does it feel seeing, like, this version now, 10 years later? It's, it's insane. We've... You know, your mind's eye always kind of does this visual graphical upgrade. Uh, and then you'll go back and, and not long ago, my children and I were playing the original. Uh, and it wasn't what I remembered, right? Hmm. And so working with Patrick and seeing the updates from Blind Squirrel and getting my hands on this, uh, it was a relief. Like It was like, oh my gosh, this is what I thought it, thought it looked like in my mind's eye. So it's, it's wonderful to go back and be able to experience it uh, the way we thought it looked at the mm -hmm, time, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's also a nice reminder when looking at Borderlands 3, the new trailers and everything, I think people who haven't looked at these games in a while forget how far we've come and how much better Borderlands 3 even looks than Borderlands 1 does with this upgrade, even though Borderlands 1 holds up so well. <gasps> oh, that Marcus bobblehead. <laughs> I have one of those in my car, by the way. I keep mine on my desk. This is the, the struggle I always have on this screen. What I, is it going to be? I, well, I always say I'm going to do something different, and then I always land with Roland. <laughs> Don't be alarmed. And, and now it's somewhat nostalgic, you, you know, knowing his end. And here's that. If you haven't played Start the Game of the Year edition yet, this is probably the most obvious change for people, is this, uh, this filter on Angel. Yeah. That was something that the original recordings of those uh, of those scenes with Brittany were of the resolution did not scale well. Uh, <laughs> but so we needed a new solution. So we started looking at, you know, what is the core of her powers? What fits in with that? What can we do here? Um, still using that footage to make it work in 4K. Ah. And explored some ideas and landed on this filter that speaks, we believe speaks to her powers mm -hmm. as well as fits with the style and just really makes that footage shine rather than be a distraction. Right. It's very difficult to do as well. I mean, that, that idea is, is pretty unique. So when I booted this up and saw that for the first time, that was a clear, clear win. I think, I think most of us from that era saw that and felt like that was, I mean, that was an obvious improvement. We love the way it looks. So far, Chad agrees. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! I mean, there will always be people, and I can't blame them, that want it exactly the way it was yeah. uh, in any specific regard, but we're, we are very happy with where this landed. Uh -oh. Very, very happy. I clearly have my hands on your controller because this is up is down and down is up. Oh, no! <laughs> well, that'll get, that'll get a good opportunity to look at the settings. That's All right, right. Let's, uh, let's, let's start that debate in the chat. Do we or do we not invert the y-axis? <laughs> 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 Our I, tech producer is saying that I just started some ash that the auto mod is yeah. going to probably have to clean up. I believe right. I am the, the one mutant. <laughs> like, there's like four of us in this company that play inverted. But I'm okay with that. See how, how nauseated we would want the uh, the viewers to get if I attempted to to do this. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> the the the, lo, um, the the Roland to my Lilith inverts, and I do not invert. And mm. here's one of the nice things: field of view. I know a lot of people have been asking for it. I figure we bring it up since we're already in settings. Oh, word! But we got field of view slider. 
I know it's uh, <laughs> it's it's one of those small things, but I think a lot of people appreciate it, and uh, we wanted to make sure that was there, not only on PC but also on consoles, because it wasn't there for oh, yeah. either of them previously. There you go. It's incredibly useful in split screen too. If you're oh, doing absolutely. like a vertical split screen, to be able to widen that field of view, it's incredibly comfortable. <laughs> also, I want to uh, send a special shout out to the one, the only, Joe King. In Ooh. the chat, I see you, boo. Joe? <laughs> I miss you, Joe. Oh. I could follow Claptrap now, but, but I, think, I think we all know where we need to go Oh, first. yeah. Oh, okay. You gotta get that chest. Yes! Yeah. There were actually people in the chat being like, wait, I wonder if they're gonna go for it. Of course. I mean, you gotta. This, this bothers all of, my, all of my friends who don't know better. They're like, where, where are you going? It's like, <laughs> don't worry going? about it, bro. I'm going don't on worry. the proper path. That's all right, we'll I'm be going. fine. Is it, uh, is it on this thing? Yeah, that's the easiest way. Yeah! Uh, yeah. There's other little finagling you can do that's to get there. It. That's what I want. Mm. <laughs> Woo! Look at those sure. common weapons. Sure. <laughs> you got it. Man. And I've I've currently been doing a sort of replay through of Borderlands 2, and I haven't uh, touched Borderlands 1 in a hot second, but even just looking at things like the item cards, yeah. going, wow, that takes me back. That was, <sighs> that was a huge win. Like, uh, going back and playing Playing it with just a list of guns with the names, that's difficult to understand what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, the quality of life improvements. I've actually went through recently with, with my son, and we've been playing for the last few weekends. And we're, we're level 25, 26. We're, we're working through New Haven right now. And the experience is so greatly improved uh, with the, the menu updates, uh, the mini-map. Let's see, do we want to change anything? I think, he, I think he might want to change his head. Oh, that's right. Let's do oh, that. Oh, there you go. Well, what do you want to that's do new. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Hey. Okay. Okay. That, Since, that is wait, new. hold up, hold up. That mustache, though. That, that mustache. That mustache is great. That's, that's, now, he borrowed it from Reese, maybe. I think, maybe, I, maybe this we know or, where or Reese got his mustache. Or Brick. Yeah. I believe he, yeah. borrowed, he stole it from Brick, because Brick yeah. doesn't have it in this game. Um, I want to apologize for that, but just, you know, <laughs> Roland really wanted it here. Rick took it back for the trailer. You know, they share. Nice. There's only one mustache on Pandora. Let's go with, let's go with some Atlas. There can be only here. one mustache <laughs> in the world at a time. It's kind, of a, it's kind of a theme with us. Yeah. <laughs> Six sirens, one mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Use similar powers. Also, somebody in the chat already called out um, that mini-map, y'all. Mm. So, uh, huh. Yeah, that's nice, right? Looking real good. Yeah, that was something, man, we, we had to do that. <laughs> that, was, that was probably one of the first things we brought up with this remaster is like, yeah, minimap, absolutely, no question. But we also wanted to make sure it was toggleable because, again, there's, there's people that want to use the compass, want to have that original experience. Oh, yeah. And so you can turn it off if you really want to know what it's like to not know where you're going. <laughs> go for it. That'll do it, yeah. That is no problem. So Claptrap's going to do something here, and I think this is a funny story that people will appreciate. When he hits his head on the gate, we're going to wait and let him come out here. We'll, we'll, we'll point this out. This is the, the wonderful one, wonders of game development here <laughs> and how sometimes you just compromise and how annoying Claptrap can be to work with as well. Like, he is like one of your coworkers. Here we go. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see you, Claptrap. And... Oh, Aww. yes. <laughs> so so uh, our designer, Nate Overman, and I believe Paul Hellquist, who was our, our creative director for Borderlands 2, he tried and tried to get that sorted out. And for some reason, he kept reverting to smashing his head. And eventually we said, it's funny, keep it? just keep it. And then, and then the audio was added on top of it. And, no way. And so now Claptrap hits his head. And it was the first kind of endearing, like this poor robot moment. And little did we know what we would be dealing with. Mm. Uh, working with him for the next 10 years. Yeah, you yeah. created a monster. Yeah, it's very... <laughs> yeah, I always, I always love when a bug comes in of like, oh yeah, Claptrap bumps his head. Okay, it's an audio fix. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's Ship it! Creative solutions. Yeah. It's always the key. But it, yeah, it does, it speaks to the charm of Claptrap and it's one of those things, it's like, yeah, that works. Why change it? <laughs> Miss the eyeballs popping out. That was such a fun... And by the way, for those of you just joining us, uh, I'm Elisa, and I'm sitting here with Carl and Patrick from the awesome Gearbox team. We're showing off a little bit Borderlands Game of the Year edition. That's what we're doing. Hmm. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. 
Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna. I shouldn't have swapped that. But well, you could always jump in. I could always jump in. But out. you know what? Show I'm off cool that inventory. With, I'm cool with the. Uh, I'm cool with that. Oh, that's wrong. What the share do? button. What? You gotta hit the big. Yeah, hit the, the big share you gotta hit the big touchpad. Oh, see. You I've play been, on Xbox. Uh, yeah. How, <laughs> <you? laughs> yeah. How did you know? All right, that's actually much nicer, actually. I like that a lot. Ooh. Mmm. Mm. That's really why I wanted to go there. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you did, because I really, these... I really like those guns. Hello. These are brand new guns. Yes, really? Let's see this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. These are brand new to the Game of the Year edition. Oh, hello. One of our, uh, one of our nice things we tried to do for you. In the past, we, we had some other bonuses from uh, pre-orders or those type of things. But if you play Handsome Collection, then you get two of the new six legendaries in inventory at the start of the game with a new character, along with 75 golden keys. So uh, you get to try them out, and then you'll get to get them from other things throughout the game. Maybe the destroyer, maybe a random chest in the, in the middle of it. Let's see how this works. Hello. It's not, it's not OP at all. That's. That'll work. I dig <laughs> it. I dig it. I mean, define OP, really. It's reasonably I mean, it's effective. Fine. Hey, it's, OP you know. in the first five levels, and then, you know, it goes back to normal. Yeah, yeah we'll this see about that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Firestone, funny enough, was our first prototype with the new art style. This, really? This map was, was designed as a vignette, actually, to demonstrate what we wanted to do with the inks. And we kind of built the entire arid zone almost in, in a linear fashion with uh, the development of the game. So it's kind of funny to, to go back here. It, it always brings back a lot of memories. Hooray! Ooh. Geyser Funny from Twitch asks, what one tip would you give to players who are completely new to the series like them? Wow. One one tip. Hmm. And play this one first. Okay. Uh, that's that may <laughs> seem obvious, but um, I mean we we Im we improved as we went as we should. So you wanna you always know, start at the beginning. And Borderlands One holds up really well, but I think as usual in a in a quality series, if that's not too bold of a statement to say. Hmm. Um, it improves as it goes. So going backwards as you go is, it can be cumbersome and obnoxious. Now with the, all the new updates, though, going back and replaying it again, it, uh, you know, you always notice when you go backwards all of the things that were not finished and they, that weren't as good as you wanted them to be. But now with the updates to the menu, the HUD, the, the mini map, uh, it's made the experience feel a lot more familiar to Borderlands 2. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the one tip I would give people if you're, if you're just playing the game, it's to not just walk by every uh, lame weapon that, that you find that you don't want. Uh, uh, money, of course, on the curve and Borderlands is very important up front, and then as you become rich later on, is less important. So, I hoard and sell as much mm -hmm. as possible to try and try and get the best items from the stores I can in the early few levels. Yeah, and also as a reminder, using the new U station when you respawn, that costs money too. That's so right. having a nice, healthy store is great for some of those tougher battles where you don't want to risk running out of money. That's right. And with the, the ability now to mark and lock items and mark items as trash, it, it makes that a lot less cumbersome. And also, in Borderlands 1 compared to 2 and pre-sequel, guns can last a lot longer, so you always want to look at, you know, you might be level 10 and still using a level 5 gun, and that's not a bad thing. That thing might be a great level 5 gun that'll last you a long time. Mm -hmm. So don't always default to... Um, don't always default to replacing with a higher level gun. Experiment. Make sure that new gun you got is actually better and use it. Thanks for that mini map. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pow. That gun's kind of great. You know, for like seven or eight years, I thought Dr. Zed was the same voice actor as the Whataburger guy. <laughs> 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 and that really was exciting to me. Now I feel like I won't be able to unhear that. Yeah. Yeah. And now I want Whataburger. Yeah. Dang it, Carl! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You guys will never be able to unhear that now. Uh, now, one other thing, while we're still in Firestone, we should probably check out the golden chest. We should. Yeah. Ooh! Yeah, well, you know what? Claptrap can wait. Sorry, little man. Yeah, yeah he's fine. No, no, no. I mean, he's programmed to feel pain, but... Eh. We're going to keep that Shrug. one, so let's see what we got here. Hello, golden chest. 
Yes, I would like to use it. Are you sure? Of course you're sure. Oh, boy. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to go to the blue first because I, I got a feeling that I just want to compare right. Oh, yeah. Easy decision. Nice. Easy you got a decision. feeling that tonight's going to be a good night. Woohoo. I apologize. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so Golden Chest, also new. Yes, also new. Brand new. Actually, let's. these aren't my keys. Let's do it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's messed up. But they are mine. They're yours. I'm yeah. sorry, Pat. No, it's okay. We're this going is going to run roughshod. This is going to be an entire hour of you just redeeming yeah. every single I, It's possible it's, I might part. have some connections so I can get myself some new keys. Can you get yourself some <gasps> new? Maybe. Shh. Mm. <laughs> I do not speak of that ability. Man, well, really, I mean, that just means you follow we'll Randy on Twitter it. and you'll get all the golden keys that's you true. need. That's true. What about around the hallways? Wait, we hide keys around the hallways? No, follow Randy around the hallways. Oh, no. Yeah, that, yeah, that kind of creeps him out. It's fun. But speaking of golden keys, by the way, uh, we do have um, a bot in the chat that posts this every once in a while. But if you do want some updates on where you can find some golden keys, make sure that you are following both the Gearbox official channels and the Borderlands channels. And uh, yeah, we just kind of throw some out every once in a while. So make sure to go get you some. I get it. Uh, having played BL1 and, and BL2, when you returned to Firestone in BL2, that was oh. such like a poignant moment. And I don't know, that was, that was just always really cool. Great sense of nostalgia. It reminded, it, it kind of gave me the feeling like in Mario 3 when you're in the clouds looking back down on yeah. the map you were in here. I was there, I know where I'm at. Yeah. I, and I thought, it was wonderfully done. I, didn't, I, was, I was not here for making that decision. I was uh, lower in the company. But uh, I love that it was later in the game because it's so easy to jump to those nostalgia moments early. Mm. And it got to the point playing it more as a tester at the time when I was here, having that held off until late in the game made me kind of forget about that nostalgia and then it hit just wonderfully. It was, a re it was really interesting too because it was a different, different group of designers. I believe um, Nate Overman was one of the level designers that had built that. And so as, as one of the people who built Firestone and some of this area outside to come back and see, like it felt like someone had invaded my space, you know, like, <laughs> what is happening here, you know, like, and, and that made it all the more per personal too when I was playing it. I was like, damn, handsome Jack. <laughs> cool. Messing up my stuff. Speaking of other sort of fun tips and tricks, um, super annuated on Mixer well, lets people know, if, especially if you're new to the series, poop piles are good sources of loot. <laughs> It's not yep. just there for the atmosphere or environmental storytelling. There is actually useful stuff in there in piles of poop. I think they're technically vomit piles. <gasps> Although I, Skag's vomit and poop from the same orifice. Yeah. It's like a yeah. little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Yeah. A couple magazines, an errant gun every once in a while. Mm -hmm. As you do. Speaking of loot, picking up loot, you don't need to... Uh, hit square or X on every single piece of ammo anymore. You're yeah. kidding so me. There's another quality of life. That's huge. It's, yeah. it, your thumb doesn't hurt after four hours of playing. Well, not for that reason. It's, your, it's always your index finger for me in this game. Was it? Yeah. So much shooting. So much shooting. So much looting. I love it. Give me a shield. because we can, and it's Pat's keys. <laughs> Let's do this one more time. Oh, you just hit level three. Oh, so man. Hard. No, I can't. It's still open. Well, you got to grab the other weapon. Oh, you're it's right. That's right. And then it'll close. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's do this. It doesn't just magically close. Ta-da. Yes. I feel good about this one. This is going to be the whole rest of the hour. Is this us just grabbing more okay. stuff? Okay. I love me a good okay. repeater. Mm. Yeah, I was hoping for more. Okay. Let's do this. You're looking for an SMG? I'm, I'm looking for something with an orange stem, a gold oh, stem. Let's, oh, I mean, come on. Let's get greedy. <laughs> I mean, you already got two. You got you already got two in your inventory. Oh yeah, I've already made the made a killing here. So <laughs> <laughs> it's possible that we might we might see a few more in a second. And by the way, I'm going to change our mini map because this is uh, this is interesting to me. Oh. I want the mini map to uh, rotate with me. There you go. Oh, Because I find myself getting confused. Look at that. 
Nice. Even more options. Yeah, new options for new features. That's how much we care. Huh. It's funny. I've always enjoyed the opening, honestly, of uh, the first first twenty or twenty or so minutes of this game more even so than Borderlands Two. I don't know why. There's something about the isolation mm. of Firestone and, and not knowing anyone on the planet and, and making friends, you know, for the yeah. first time. Yeah, even though you, you haven't really seen an environment like the beginning of BL2, by the time you get there, it's, this feels so much more like Discovery right now. Yeah. For, for, uh, for the game or the franchise. These poor guys. They have no idea. And, uh, oof! Feel so bad. Like, dude, we no, prom we promised he'd be coming in at level one, maybe two. He'd be having some basic repeaters, not this hopped up revolver nonsense. <laughs> yeah, we only got one bullet left, so you know. That's true. There won't be any revolver am ammo for a minute. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's. Is it, when you open Marcus's story, yeah, yeah, you will you will get it. So now I had that I had that moment myself uh, just playing it recently. I was like, oh wait wait a minute. I maybe should have saved these. Yeah, you, the, when you get the revolver and the rocket launcher as your first two, man, you burn through that ammo so quick. All right. Money, 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 money. Let's go meet everybody. It's so hard not to go. Maybe. <laughs> maybe next time. <laughs> I'll, I'll try and pace your keys, Pat. I appreciate it. Yeah. No, that's, that's good. I think, I think most people watching with me probably want me to use that. They want me to go. To be fair, I did just finish my playthrough at home. So mm. my buddy who has not played any of the Borderlands games, we're about ready to go to Borderlands 2, but he just wants to hit 50 first. Nice. Yeah. Get that sweet, sweet platinum. Mm -hmm. Most people probably yeah. know that, that TK Baja is also the voice of Claptrap, right? <laughs> yep. Most people know that. That's Dave Eddings. Yeah. TK Baja. Uh, a lot of people paying their respects to TK in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So a lot of Fs then. <sighs> we all wonder what he could be if he were still with us today. Uh, He's sort of with us in yeah, we still, I mean, spirit. Zo Zombie Baja is still around. Yeah. No, he showed up in BL2. He just likes there was my last brains point. a lot. And there you go. Didn't even get a kill on your last bullet. Come on. Wow. So, I felt mercy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's allowed in this game. No. Mm. I've always loved the, the battle dialogue where people are, people are referring to you as the bad guy. Like the bandits and psychos and yeah. such. Yeah. It's all about perspective. That's right. Yes! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh -oh. we're close. I believe. Gonna try to get that action skill. Punch yeah. it. Mm. I sometimes feel so wasteful, because sometimes I'll end up shooting the piles instead of <laughs> punching them, because I'm just, I'm just... I do the same bored. thing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel bad when I end up doing that with a shotgun. Like with a repeater, a SMG, it's no big deal. But I'm like, sniper rifle, boom. Oh, I had like four bullets. That's a bad idea. Whoops. Uh-oh. Or a rocket launcher. I end up killing myself just trying to get loot. There we go. Oh my gosh, where is it? No, we don't want that. See, I learned where the menu's at. I'll be okay. Here, yeah, you got it. this repeater does here. On the surface, it's not great. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, you know, it's only level four. That's right. Yeah, you're fine. I'm getting greedy. You got the gold, <laughs> the gold chest you want. You want to go, go, go. When you're, when you're used to, uh, to, to that, it's hard to go back. Yeah. We, um, uh, in our latest run through of BL2, we've obviously like amassed enough golden keys between the two of us that we have a bunch. 
and we've had to basically like pace ourselves to be like, okay, <laughs> every 10 levels we'll go back to Sanctuary and we'll open a bunch of them because otherwise we'd just be there just the entire time. Yeah, me and my friends are trying to do, do the uh, OP levels right now. And so you make it through one, and you're like, all right, let's go back to the Golden Chest and just like get try to get best we can, try to try to reduce the grind a little bit. Those things are crazy. People who've made it to OP8 are uh, are bonkers, and I love them. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, get him. There we go, there we go, there we go. We're okay, right? Everything's fine. I believe. Everything's fine. Okay. Now we get now we can get some more of those revolver bullets. So. There we go. Say here. Oh, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna sell some of this stuff I don't want here. We're gonna, we're gonna make some cash. Alright, good call. Pat's like, man, what those are my blues. We just got <laughs> that. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? You're killing me. <laughs> ah, it's fresh character. I'm good. Okay. I got, I got, mm -hmm. I got my uh, 35 brick. He's, he's all psyched up and ready to punch. Oh, okay. I'm supposed to use a grenade on that guy. That, I believe that was the intention there, but the shotgun was was working. So. I mean, same difference. Let me get out. Of, let me get out of this. This we need something more. What? What? It's one. Of, it's one of the new ones. That's why you don't recognize it. Oh my goodness! I didn't notice it was in there. Was it a mission reward? No. No. Was, that was in there since the beginning. It was in there since the beginning. Yeah. I just overlooked it. I was just kind of curious why you were never using it. Oh wow. <laughs> I was trying to pace, pace it out for oh, presentation. Okay. Oh, oh, Drama. okay. Mm, mm. Yeah. We Drama. Didn't, we didn't want to show all the. Yeah, exactly. Change the channel. Okay. Right. You're not a right. Stag, are you? Stag. You gotta stay in this room. Oh. All right, kind toes. Mostly anyways. I can hear Claptrap telling me that new missions are available at the Firestone Bounty Board. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when that gets going. I kind of love <laughs> it and hate it. I think my favorite is uh, Scooter says he has a little something something. <laughs> Pay your respects. Oh, perfect. Everybody I love is dead. Damn. And on that note, play Tales from the Borderlands. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that, that is also another good tip for folks that are um, that are newer to the franchise is, you know, yes, BL1, yes, BL2, but don't sleep on Tales or yep. the pre-sequel either. It is a great if you're if you're gonna try to run through all of these before you go to Borderlands three. First off, start now, um, unless you just have you know all the free time in the world. Yeah. But uh, hitting up Tales from Borderlands between two and the pre sequel is a good kind of respite from the gameplay because mm. it can it changes it up. It gets more into the the story yeah. rather than the world and the guns focus. Yeah. And it's a really good game. Like it's yeah. it's. I know I'm biased, but it's probably my favorite Telltale game. That or Wolf Among Us. I'm gonna go with Tales of Borderlands. You know where your bread is buttered. Yeah, that's right. Wait, no, we gotta try this. Otherwise, instinctively just switching weapons. It's all right. You're barely hitting him. You're on the edge of him. That's all right. Ooh! Keep going. <laughs> hmm. Okay. You just love it when you just get cash, just comes full. <laughs> So satisfying. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I would like to see that. That. I'd like to see how that that happens. 
It's, it's wonderful to play on a console with this frame rate at this resolution too. Mm -hmm. I, you know, for years playing on PC and being familiar with, you know, working on the PC build and knowing how the input feels. And, you know, we had on the original version of, of Borderlands a lot more latency than most of us were happy with. It, it never felt as good on the consoles as we were familiar with on the PC and now going back and playing it in the Game of the Year edition with really high frame rate, really good weapon feel. So I think most people who are familiar with it from the console revisions are going to be pleasantly surprised at, at how much better the input feels. I think it's one thing a lot of people have a misconception about because of the art style. A lot of people see it as, this is not realistic, it's a lot easier to do, it's not as taxing on the system. But the way we build these things and the detail put into it, it's it's very taxing on the system, especially when you start getting with crazier guns. And we can, we're pretty good at uh, pushing pushing these systems to their absolute limit and seeing what they can do. Also, hey, hey, hey Carl, mm -hmm. you have a skill point. I'm ready. I'm just, ready. I just. I was. <laughs> yeah. Don't go any further. Is the chat just like, who's it? Use it. Like, dude, let's go. I'm, I'm, I'm preemptively wait. poking oh. you because I know for a fact. They're ready. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You know, I was ready to see that uh, that shield there. Where are we at? Hey, do I still have my awesome? Okay, we got to sort this out too because I'm pretty sure Homeboy is going to be able to handle this right here. Wow. Yeah. You got some bullets now. I do. Just making I sure. Do. Just I do. Sure. I loaded up. I got grenades. I got all kinds of bullets. Okay. All right. You're good to go. In the meantime, there are lots of wonderful and intriguing questions in the chat about Borderlands 3, but hang tight, my loves, because we have a gameplay reveal event coming soon, May 1st, 10 a.m. Pacific time, whatever time that is for you, on twitch.tv slash borderlands, on borderlands.com. And hopefully there you will get a lot of the answers you seek on the upcoming Borderlands 3. So mark your calendars, set all available alarms and timers and all that jazz. May 1st, 10 a.m. Pacific time. We got you. We're just as excited about that as we are. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, just being able to say oh, Borderlands yeah. 3 out loud right now. Isn't that weird? It's, really, mm. it's a beautiful thing. Do you, you know when you have like a gift giving occasion and you get someone the perfect, like you're like, oh, is there no love for someone to give them this? And then you have to wait like four or five days to get them. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Five or six months. Or it's, it's been well, yeah, years, it's been right? Five, so we've five had this. years yeah. or so. Yeah. Sorry, Digit. Digit's gonna kill me. I refuse to die, Digit. Stop it. Hello. There we go. Oh, I made a mistake. Woo, another one bites the dust. Well, you know, I want the clipper, but I don't feel like it's as awesome now that I've got this thing. But I feel like for nostalgia's sake, we can't like, I mean, we can't yeah. just breeze yeah, past it. For a second. It's like, yeah. as someone who wasn't much of an RPG guy growing up, that was Always when the Clipper moment. first came into the game was when I understood <laughs> what we were doing. I picked the game up, and, or picked the gun up, and then went outside and started setting some skags on fire, and I thought, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> I get it, I get it. I think I can do, I think I dig this. I'm a sucker for an elemental weapon every time. Oh yeah. yeah. Ooh, what do we got? Mm -hmm. Got oh, are science. they worth any money? That's what I was telling people. I can't. <laughs> 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 gotta back it up. Yeah, gotta, gotta, mm -hmm. gotta remember what. I don't want. We don't want to go. We don't need cash boxes. Yeah. All right. I might be reading that, reaching that point. I kind of want to play some split screen. Oh yeah, I was gonna say. I was like, you. Probably been dying to play. I've been, I've been itching. I've been right. itching a little here. bit. Here. here you go, my dude. Here. All right. The, the Mad go. Cat's controller. Yeah. Yes. Whose turn is it to play on the PlayStation? <laughs> All right. right. You boys gotta Head learn to out. share. <clears throat> <laughs> awesome. 
So we are going to switch over to a little bit of split screen love just because Patrick has been absolutely dying to play. <laughs> Um, but in the meantime, once again, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Um, I am Elisa, your Gearbox New Media Manager. That's Carl. That's Patrick. Uh, we have a lead lighting artist, which just sounds cool. And Pat is a producer. He produces. Make it work. Make things go. Make things happen. Right? That's usually what a producer yeah, kinda. does, right? Yeah. 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 What else know, does a producer do? <laughs> know what's happening. Schedule things. Mm -hmm. Which one use? Panic. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay. All that good stuff. Yes. All right. All right. Okay, so now we're in. Now, who are we playing as now? I'm going to be Brick. Okay. And uh, you're jumping in as Lilith. I'll be Lilith, yeah. <gasps> Yay, all right. Yeah, so yeah we've, like... been, we've been ha having some folks being like, oh, I want to see a siren. So. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you can't, you can't play Borderlands without Lilith. She's so, she's grown to be so core to everything. You guys are going to light me up in the chat because oh, I've always played as Roland, so. <laughs> oh, no, oh, I'm God. upside down again. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. All right, all right. Oh, now no. you do it. My turn. Okay. Ooh. Oh, thank you. Let's, let's, let me. Yeah, okay, we're good. No, look. Hey, there it is. All right. Hey. All right. Oof, this brings back some memories. Yep. And then, of course, for folks that might be new to Borderlands as game in general, one of the cool things is a split-screen co-op vibe, so bring friends. And not only two, but this one actually adds four, which what? is another one of those things, like you look back at the PS3 and Xbox 360, that, that wasn't going to happen. <laughs> Flat That's right. out. <laughs> but as I said, we push, we push the systems to the limit uh, when, we, when we build from the ground up, and uh, having the freedom to take the game as it was Improve some things and still add in four player co op, four, four player split screen co op. Yes. Wonderful thing. Wonderful thing. Oh. God. Don't forget the brains. So the brains game. Right, and by the way, we have switched over to the Zombie Island of Dr. Ned DLC. Uh, so we kind of jumped ahead a little bit just so we can show off some characters that are a little bit more beefy. Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> Maybe we'll go see the destroyer later. Oh. Maybe. I don't know, chat. Would you like to see a destroyer fight today? Let me know. I also wonder how much time we have left. Yeah. I got about like 20. Okay. Yeah, All right. 20. All right. We're about 20. We're going, we're going into Jacob's code. I just told I was not paying full attention. I was, wa I was watching. I was yeah. watching. I was like, he knows what he's doing. Uh, Surely. Who am I? Someone does. Oh, God. Somewhere. I missed the jump. I haven't seen this in a long time. <laughs> yeah. Well, Carl, you worked on this, then, didn't yes, you? Yes. Yeah. This, uh, this DLC, there was a very small team of people and very, very short amount of time. Uh, but we were so excited because we had just uh, it just wrapped Borderlands 1. And uh, it was an awesome opportunity to do a complete creative departure, right? So regardless of the timeline, everybody was just so excited to be doing a, like this ludicrous idea. I don't know. I, I'm trying to remember if zombies were as big at the time. Um, I think when they started growing, like the mm. Red Dead zombie one was after this as well. I think. Yeah, it's hard to. It's hard to remember, but I think we're the first. First, uh, first piece of media ever do zombies, I believe is, is accurate. Oh, ever, in, ever, in, in, in the entire in the world, history, in the yeah. entire yeah. history yeah. of humanity. Zombies. Cinema, books, oh, yeah. yeah, we invented zombies. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, sure. Why not? All right. <laughs> we don't have to say true things here, do we? No, no. God. Nobody's man. keeping track. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you turned in the mission. Nope. Did you not? No, right. I thought you turned in the mission. Oh, I'll, I thought I'll you turn turned it in. <laughs> All right, there we go. Good job. Yay. This was, uh, you know, Borderlands 1 had humor. It had, it had its funny moments. But when working on this DLC, we were, the timeline was, was short. And we were trying to figure out, like, who, you can get all these tanks. You can get all these Franken tanks is what we call them. You can get the zombies. You can get this. You can get that. But, man, if you want all those things, it's really going to be hard within the schedule to, to give you a new NPC, a new main character. And we were all sitting around one night, and we were like, well, what can we do? And then and we were like, well, you know, we talked about having, having you know, Zed be in there. 
Like, well, maybe Zed has a brother named Ned, and we could just, <laughs> just throw. I, apparently, I'm realizing now, like with Reese, that mustaches are our answer to everything, but and brick, but yeah, that that was at the time it was a joke. It was like, well, we just throw a mustache on him, and you know, just Why put not? it, and then we'll throw a nod to it with a piece of tape and the name, and 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 then we all laughed because we were like, we're not going to do that. That's ridiculous. And, and then as soon as you say then, that's ridiculous, you say, oh, well, And in then that we case. started laughing, and then we were like, well, let's not take ourselves too seriously. It's DLC. We'll have a good time. And I think it, it turned out well. I think everybody was happy. Yeah. I think that's a wonderful thing we've always done with DLC is kind of, it's been a, a freedom to explore mm -hmm. and do things a little weird, a little different, um, and a little noxious at times. I, I think a lot of people hated the Grandma Torg mission in Thanksgiving DLC for Borderlands Oh, too, yes! I love it. I love, I, love, I love that thing. I, I love that we got to troll just a little bit. Just yeah. a little bit. And it's all out of love. I'm so lost without you. <laughs> also, by the way, finally, Killer6 is finally wondering if you won or lost or how, how you obtained your particular piece of hardware that you're showing off there, Pat. Um, oh, what? Yeah. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh oh um, oh oh, this whole thing. Yeah, we got a we got a small small group here who uh, like to make picks for wrestling shows. So WrestleMania was pretty recent, and uh, I'm the best. So I made the best picks. <laughs> just in general. Yeah, just in general, I'm the best. But you know, I'm also the best at making wrestling picks. So you know, I have to lord this over them and make sure they know that I won. Yeah, we are a bunch of nerds. That's that's the short answer. Yes. Yeah. If you have any wrestling fans in the chat, let us know how you feel about the superstar shakeup. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I mean, I, I actually like the Romans on SmackDown, I will say. <laughs> I know a lot of people aren't a fan, but he's yeah, it's, it's all right. He's By the right. way, if you guys are wondering why sometimes it looks like I'm roaming around mm. blind, it's a little bit dark. The lighting, the lighting guy just said it's dark, so mark it down. Wow. Mark it down. Wow. And okay. File it away forever, everyone on the development team. And you never heard me say that. <laughs> I think we should. Uh, I think we should go after the destroyer now. You think? Yeah. I think it's about that time. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go I think it's cool. Gonna, Let's do it. I'm gonna run back to fast travel. Let's get us out of here. Go ahead. I'm gonna try and kill some zombies. Yeah, I was gonna say, pop that. Phase walk, what did I girl. do? I, well, I was trying to... <laughs> <laughs> Phase walk with me. That's a reference. I'm not quite sure to what. That's uh. Come on. I, I know, I... Uh, it's on the tip of your tongue. Fire walk with me. Yes! Right? Yep. I got you. I'm totally lost on this one. It's Twin, Twin Peaks, Peaks, my dude! Yeah. Oh, well, ah. there we go. That's one of my nerd blind spots. Ah. Twin Peaks and Star Trek both are, are total blind spots for me. Oh boy! Yeah, I just Auto lost mod. a lot of I lost a lot of credibility just Auto now. Automod, automod, make sure that okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sean almost left the room. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, but um, to be fair, I only got into Twin Peaks like a couple of years ago because there was that new Twin Peaks: The Return. That came back on, um, but I really like it. I really enjoy it. It's just weird and wonderful. It's pretty good. I'm behind. I need to catch up because I love the original series. So. <laughs> it's interesting but, watching like all of it back to back, like the original series and this new one that, yeah. that popped a couple of years ago or whatever. It's really interesting. I'm trying to. I know where he's. I'll, I'll make I'm it. I'm going by memory. <laughs> Let's go and get the right mission track. Let's go. It's important. There she is. Yeah. Lily, no. Oh, I got this. I'm fine. Look at all that. Look at that. Fine, you just don't panic. What is all that? Any day, Patrick, I'm dying here. Here we go. Iridium Promontory. And we're off. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> also, look at those load screens. Look at how look at how nice they look. It's so pretty. <sighs> Even even that like that image right there, you're know, like spawning in. That looks dope. So I'm genuinely curious. Did you guys recapture those shots? Were those original source high enough resolution? Like those are recaptured. Those are Whoa. those are recaptured. Because I noticed the maps in the beginning of the game, they're the same loading screens, right? The same. Yeah, if, if you compare them, they're not exactly the same. No but kidding. Very, very, very close very enough. Similar. 
Thank you, Insightful Reaper, and no signal. It is pretty. And the load screen is, in fact, clean. It is nice. Mm. <laughs> it's quite nice. I remember the Guardians being a pain in the ass. <laughs> they, they are, yeah. They're, they're very difficult. Whew. I believe I, I tried to get us some, some good gear to deal with them. Do you have any electric gear? Or did I just totally skip out on that? I've, I I've been I was pretty like, success. don't die on me while you're checking <laughs> I've been pretty your successful inventory. so far. <laughs> yeah, I was going to punch things. The mission, uh, I can't remember the name of it right offhand, but when you're in the doll headlands. When oh, you yeah, where you go underneath? Yeah. yeah. That, that's brutal. Even when you're over leveled. Yeah, brutal. yeah, yeah, yeah. That principle. No, <laughs> no. Yeah. Come here. I am oh. getting flashbacks. Come here. Oof. Patrick's gone. Where you at? I'm trying to, try to get this so quick. <laughs> I'm running ahead, spring through this thing. Cool, I'll stay back here. Got to, got to hit up that destroyer. I've got 10 minutes. All right, this is a Borderlands Game of the Year edition speed run. Uh, welcome yeah. to the show. Okay, here we go. I'm <laughs> running with you. We're, we're every level Roll, designer who's ever away. seen okay. this is crying because we're just running. I believe in you. <laughs> Uh, and while I'm just skipping all the enemies, I'll, I'll talk about kind of the, the philosophy behind the remaster. Go ahead. Which was we wanted to make sure we weren't necessarily changing things, but focus, focusing on where we can improve and bring it, bring it to feel modern without changing the design or any of the core tenets of it. So I know a lot of people, I, I, hear, I see people ask for new skill trees for the Vault Hunters, bring them bringing closer to Borderlands 2. Um, or even a, a different final boss fight. Yeah, I've, this is I heard people ask for steel mm. to be the final boss fight. No. Go for the Which are things that Go. sound cool, especially the <laughs> such a loss especially the skill trees. <laughs> oh, no. But it's also something that you kind of lose the progression of a series if you do that. You want you want to preserve what it is while making strategic changes instead of revamping oh. to bring it up to what Borderlands Two was. And I feel like we did a really good job of that, of holding on to what it truly is and let people feel how this how this franchise really grew. Oh my gosh. Well, Carl, at least when you respawn, it looks pretty. That's right. That's, that's a small, <laughs> small consolation prize. I feel so like underpowered here. There we go. 80 meters, here we go. Hey, hey. good job. <laughs> Look at all of them just hanging out. Earning, earning new trophies, I love it. No, I think I think that they did a really good job too. It, it, it nothing changed, unexpected. Everything looks fantastic. Like, like I nice. said earlier, I've enjoyed going back and and mm -hmm. revisiting it myself. And the quality of life improvements make it incredibly pain, painless. Mm -hmm. And of course, to address some of the folks in the chat, you know, speaking of improvements, we are you know kind of looking at your feedback um, that you're, you've been giving us on social and through support. You know, so any issues that you're having, just trust that we hear you, we're working on it, um, but make sure that you are tapped into those social channels at Gearbox Official and at Borderlands for any updates on this and all of our titles. Yeah, just to give you kind of a, a little further update of what we're doing there. Mm -hmm. We have a test, or we have a patch in test right now for Xbox One. Uh, for the matchmaking. We're going to get that out to you guys as soon as possible, as soon as we feel comfortable and confident with it. And we also are working on another patch that's going to be more expansive, take a little more time mm. and get that out and get get it fully tested and feeling right. Right. Uh, we don't want to uh, we don't want to just step away from this thing. We want to we want everybody very happy with it. Yep. <laughs> All right, here we go. The Destroyer, y'all. Yeah! Let's go. This thing has always reminded me of something out of a, one of Peter Jackson's earlier movies, like Brain Dead. It's, it's got that 80s horror movie, mm. like Cthulhu. <laughs> we got some Fs in the chat for Steel. <laughs> <laughs> only, uh, only early Peter Jackson movie I know is The Frighteners. Gone too soon. Keep going backwards. Uh, I, need, I need to explore more? Yeah. All right. Mm. And you may Just notice up here, these guys, oh god, they're, they're no longer <laughs> up there. They're on me. <laughs> what did Why? you do? But we got some uh, ethereal destroyer parasites. 
Um, those are, as you may have guessed, racks ah. that were reworked to look more as a uh, ethereal, parasitic entity. Mm. And something that we wanted to add to the fight to make sure people couldn't just stand behind stand behind a rock and shoot a destroyer, have to move around a little bit. Mm. Also added some EOI. EOI? Nope. AOE. <laughs> there we go. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just some things, push people out of cover. We we wanted to make this destroyer fight feel a little more active. Make make sure people have to move and not just sit there in one spot. Right. Uh, so it, it's it's not <laughs> just visual improvements. You actually made some tweaks to the gameplay itself. Oh, um, dude, there's they, yeah. they got me. It's okay. You're alive. You're alive. I'm gonna go punch it. <laughs> I'm gonna go punch it. That's. I punch the destroyer. I punch the initiative. Yeah. Oh, get closer. I just, want mm. to I just want to just snake there we my go. location. You go. Get, 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 get. See? It's effective. It's super effective. I'll work on the bubbles. Do it. <laughs> oh, God. You all right over there? Yeah, I got stuck with two of his darts. I'm getting stuck all over the place. But I'm, I'm, on, I'm focused. Yeah. I, I got a job to do here. Eyes are on the prize. That's right. Oh, not so much anymore. Well, just, just oh do God. it. No! Oh, God. No! Yay! Ah, okay, Sorry, okay, right. okay, we're I'm, back. Okay. Oh, what? Okay. Cool. I just literally <laughs> I was not looking when I shot that rocket, and I got lucky and it killed something. Okay. That that goes to the, mm. the addition of those racks too. Yeah, there it is. That that is that is a big thing with the racks. It's not only a, it's not it's more than a cosmetic change. It's a quality of life change to have something <laughs> more to second wind off of. Plus, they do look cool. I was going to tell you to go on without me, that, nope. that you would survive, that I would... Ah. Hey, we're not, we're not going to thunder gun this. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Let's go! Where are you at? I'm, I'm to why, left. Why am Follow I having, the arrow. <laughs> why am I having a hard time with arrows? Here we go. Nope, no. I'm coming. Oh, oh look at hey, you. Nailed oh, it. Killed something. There it's, we go. It's almost like I wanted you to be self-sufficient. Yeah. Teach oh a man to fish, you know? <laughs> teach a man to fish. Don't teach a man to fish. Ooh. Fishing's not that hard. He's a grown man. Oh, come on. So Dude, close. I'm going to... Right yep. there. Ooh, good throw. That eyeball looks real nice, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird thing to say, but yeah, it's true. Yeah, I mean, hey... It, it, Shows up later on, as some of you may know that played the, uh, the pre uh. mm. there's, there's a teaser for you. Nice. <laughs> Spoilers. Hey, no. I didn't say how it shows up. Okay, all right, that's fine. Uh, no, Hunt Pat. No. <laughs> Hunty oh, Boyle oh. from Twitch says, <laughs> I hate you, you guys for the Grandma Flexington missions. <laughs> 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 I did the raid one at 1 a.m. and fell asleep, so I had to redo it. Oh no. Uh, no! I was uh, I was working with our localization um, specialist Nick Khan. He was yes! he was doing the localization for that mission specifically, and I was testing it in the same room as him. And so I believe it was him that discovered that initially we w we didn't have all the audio because of the way we cut it up, the lines were longer than anything we'd ever had. So it was only lasting about three minutes. Sorry, and we were like, this is incoherent. It's like, oh, it's supposed to be incoherent. It's supposed to be incoherent. <laughs> but what but, uh, kind of ticked it off for us, and let's figure it out, is she never mentioned pistachio or uh, Rocky Road ice cream. And so that was like, wait, she's asking about what's her favorite ice cream. She never mentions either of those. That makes no sense. And then we found, oh, we're missing like half the dialogue. Oh my gosh. And so we had to retest all of it and just listen to that over and over again. We had to listen to it in all languages just to make sure it was all working. That was, I, I, know, I know a lot of people hate that mission. It was very painful for us to make as well. <laughs> it's kind of like Claptrap. Aww. <laughs> I love Clappy. Yeah, we, we all love him too, but it's, it's just so funny. Working with him can be very... He has, well. he has a very specific writer that we have to make sure. It's like it's like a green M&M &M kind of guy. You know? <laughs> Everything yeah. has to be just right. Yeah, it's everything's got to be just right. Yep. It's Look at that. Off. And credits are rolling. And it's 5.59 p.m. Boom! And look at all this loot. Wait, hold up. See, now we got to see. 
what kinds of cool stuff you got there, yeah. right? All right, let's let's start from the outside and work in. Let's do that. <laughs> All right. What we got? What and we also got? be nice to each other and learn to share your mm. loot. Ooh, I got no? some. I got some elemental. Uh, well, sniper let's see. and assault rifle. You want the assault rifle? I've never seen any. Yeah, I'll take the assault rifle. Right. I'm more of an I'm assault rifle kind of gal. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> See, I, I love, I, man, revolvers in Borderlands 1 destroyed any oh. kind of pistols in Borderlands 2. Does anybody agree? Like, did anybody mm. miss that? Because I missed these revolvers in Borderlands 2 mm. really bad. Oh, Got some artifacts here for a soldier. Sirens. Awesome. Oh, nice. oh. And look at those. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. There we go. Got legendary. A legendary. And we got ourselves a nice little Iridian weapon. Meow. Should have equipped that thing. I want, go, mm. I want to go kill that. Let's see what this looks like. It's always <laughs> fun. Some class mods here. You know, it's funny. Oh, I'm God, still it's... looking for soldier soldier class mods. That's how <laughs> that's how much Roland and I are on the same page here. Mm. So it's hard for me. That's so hard. It's part of your soul. I feel like I'm walking around, walking out on him. You know. <laughs> <sighs> oh, there it is. Ooh, melee damage. Ooh, explosive. There we go. Ooh, that fire rate is. So yeah, that was as as you may have noticed, that was another big key. Let's get mm. some better loot. Okay. Story. Let's let's make this feel right. And uh, so we gave you seven chests, and odds are there'll be at least at least one legendary in there. I think, okay. Uh, I think that's safe to say. Yep. Good to know. So from visual improvements, gameplay tweaks, um, more loot, <laughs> and and awesome stuff, um, and the golden chest. Speaking of loot. Uh, we have lots of really cool improvements in Borderlands 1 Game of the Year Edition. That, by the way, just came out like a few weeks ago. So whether you're new to the franchise or you want to get caught up in that sweet, sweet lore ahead of BL3, highly recommend picking it up. Um, it's a blast, clearly. And I, and I also want to kind of go back and play Lilith again, too. Because um, it's definitely fun having the experience of playing someone like Lilith, Roland, Brick, Mordecai, and then revisiting them as kind of fully fleshed out NPCs in two. And that's just always a fun experience to have. It is. It yes. That's uh, much of the nostalgia like you spoke to earlier about going yeah. back to Firestone, to be able to see those guys and kind of adore them as heroes yourself. Yeah. I'm just happy I can finally play Brick because my brother never let me. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> The therapy stream will start after this. <laughs> yes, so, um, so, oh, oh, yes, by the way, I just mm. wanted to do a, another quick call out before we end the show today. If anybody ever noticed how awesome Carl's shirt is, this shirt is available on the awesome new and improved Gearbox Loot store. That is gearboxloot.com. Um, so you can get yourself a sweet bandit tee along with other awesome stuff like glasses and sweet hats and sweaters and socks? all sorts of stuff. Yep, oh, there's, there's some... sweet socks in there too. Um, super obnoxious in the yeah. best way. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, uh, and, and speaking of Lilith, there is probably my favorite thing is um, there's a really cool Firehawk muscle tee, which I love and own and highly recommend you pick up. You know, because all hail the Firehawk, honestly. TBH. Um, so I think that's going to do it. I don't know how much time I want to spend picking up loot because that will take five ever between, <laughs> between the comparing and contrasting and the moving that's forward. Right. So I would say maybe let's come back at another time and play some more. What do you think? Let's maybe. Do it. All right, yeah. let's do it. Let's, 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 let's make that a date. <laughs> All right, now the next time that folks are going to be seeing us, uh, will probably be May 1st at the Borderlands 3 gameplay reveal event. That is going to be our next big shout into the universe about, I don't know, just how cool Borderlands 3 is, because I'm super excited to show everybody, um, and I'm sure everyone is in this room and in this building is super stoked for you to find out more about what we have in store for you for Borderlands 3. So mark your calendars, set all of your alarms May 1st, on borderlands.com or twitch.tv slash borderlands or right here, keep it locked, twitch.tv slash gearbox official. And as always, please be tuned to our social media channels at borderlands and at gearbox official on 
all of the social media hangouts where we will find you. And that is where you are going to get all of the latest and greatest up-to-date information on Borderlands 3, Borderlands Game of the Year Edition, and all of our other titles. Now, I am excited for what's in store. I'm excited for everybody else to get their hands on Borderlands Game of the Year Edition and kind of revisit where Borderlands got its start. Uh, so I'm, I'm super stoked about that, as well as you. Now, we are going to do a sign-off here. Oh. Now, from all of us here at Gearbox, would you like to say a few words to the Border fam out there? B border fam? Yeah. Ah, wow. Is that, is, that, that, is that a thing now? It's a thing. Um, yeah. Uh, we, we, we love you guys. We love how <laughs> passionate you are, and... We've been sitting on like this secret and Borderlands 3 and these UHD upgrades for so long. It was so, such a relief on March 28th to get those out to you guys and April 3rd to actually sure. release some of it. Yes. Uh, we're so psyched about this game. Like genuinely, I can't, I can't express <laughs> how much we believe in it and how much we know as soon as you guys have your hands on it, you're, you're gonna love it too. Yeah, but, absolutely. Mwah. Yes. What do you got, Carl? He's absolutely right. Seeing the re reception, uh, looking at the comments, the feedback that you guys have all had has been fantastic. It refuels all of us. When you've been keeping a secret for a long time, you're working really hard on making sure you can make the best. There's a little bit of doubt, so be able to share that with you guys and to actually see your reactions uh, really gets us motivated uh, for that final push. So thank you guys. Appreciate awesome. it. Awesome. And as always, we absolutely love the support that we've been getting ever since the announce. By the way, all of the cosplay, all of the fan art you've been sending over. It's amazing. It's, it's been absolutely fantastic. Um, please keep them coming. We share it all internally, so don't think that we aren't seeing your wonderful creations. We are, and we love it and appreciate it. And we appreciate you. So we're going to skedaddle, and we're going to head out. But until next time, we have been Gearbox. You have been awesome. See you later. Bye.